hang on. Are you saying you're going to give me Orc on Twisted Mellows on my first game? You can do that, and you just did. That's impressive. All right. Let's get to Gavin. Let's see how this one develops. I've been trying for a long time to try to do the dragon trick on this map. That's basically all I care about. This map's actually a good map. I like playing it, but... I really just care about doing the dragon trick at the moment until I just stop caring about it. Ready to work. And so far, I ain't been able to do it. Because either my opponent's in the bottom left or they've blocked off their base somehow and they've just tried to make it as complicated and tricky as possible. It's really not that hard a trick to do. If it's the bottom left, if they're in the bottom left, then it is a tricky. It is a tricky trick. To trick trick. Just doing some scouting. Pull the peon back in time for the next peon. We're going to chop these trees here. That's going to allow for a bestiary to be put into place. Go to Blade Master. So you can see the peons are chopping what they need to chop. All is relevant. We'll try to tra uh, trap the golem as well. I did find a way to trap him without actually having to build a shop, but you kind of want the shop anyway, so. And it's a bit risky to use it, because you could screw it up very easily. Haha! -ha. Okay, let's get some orcish music going. Ah, right. Here we go. Let's build that one tile higher than the tree line. Start working towards these trees. What I do is I take a peon off of gold as well at this point. And then I'll temporarily put it back on as well, later on, so I can get my tech going as quickly as possible. Have not been scouted. Do not know where my opponent is. Okay. So for safety's sake. Ah. What task is there? What do you want? Doctor. Oh. That was close. It's always close. Hang on. One lumber away from tech. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Okay. It's looking pretty good. So far. Even the peon doesn't know what to do with himself. Oh, one last bolt. Nice item. So we know our opponent's at the top left, so that's not bad. Ah. He doesn't like me much. He's going to creep this because of the way he's heading. Let's get some burrows in place. Make sure these guys are chopping the right trees so I can get access to that bestiary. Yes, Master. Yes, Lord. Nothing like attacking a Farseer with a Blade Master. Did I lose a peon somehow? I just didn't. I teched it. Ah, it's okay. It's that out. So we just chase. As long as he's not doing anything, then that's the main thing. Slow him down. Grunt can go the other way. At least interrupt the healing cell. Just be a nuisance. Isn't that so annoying? That's a lot of grunts. I wonder if I'm going to have to get some grunts to respond to that, just in case he does come to my base. I am yours. <laughs> Yes, got one healing salve left, and you've got to buy some more. He wants to do something with the grunts, no doubt. So he's probably moving over to this camp or the next camp. I think I should get another grunt to be safe. Farseer goes up to the top. I want to check for here to see what the grunts are doing. Ah, there we go. So he's trying to do a little duke. I think we'll get boost of speed as well. Oh, you went back for the camp. Fair enough. That would be the smart thing to do. I didn't anticipate that. I think I'm not too late for that though. Tech is almost complete. That's what we're after. Ah, I, oh, I was just about to say I can cancel the bar. 
Oh, never mind. Cancel the grunt. So many grunts. Just keeping him busy. Yes. Word task is there, Master. Yes. What do you want? I am yours. But I want to keep track of where he is. I had this issue before last time where I had a bit of a lack of wood. I don't really want a lack of anything on this map. So are you doing the green spot? Yes. The downside of coming over here. Oh, you're not. Yeah, there we go. Level two. So you got that. Must have done the green spot as well then. I think. Excellent choice. There it is. Yes. Are you hero and okay. Yes, Try for a second. Ah, I'll just buy choice. some more time. For the burning blade. Yes. And choice. heal. Are you hero and obey? Yes. Work complete. Fire. Oh, excellent choice. Work complete. Yes. We need Work more task number. There. <laughs> hey. Yes. Oh, I'll just do it this way then. So, Wyvern, please make sure your units don't get stuck. Yes. So he's not getting much done here. He can only go up, as far as I know. I'll leave the grunt here. Blade Master will patrol in between these two points. Yes. Yes, Lord. Master. Okay, Raider's out. Send Raider. Maybe up here or something. We've got to get him snare. Hero's going to come out. Grunt hasn't seen anything yet. I haven't seen anything yet. So I don't know where it is that he is. I think he's done that Houdini trick that they sometimes do. Ah. He wants to get a hex. So you went over here, but what did you actually get to do? You almost looked like you took some hits from something. Task is there. Ah, you cre I this like how do they do that? They just kind of do this Houdini trick sometimes. Slip through the net, so to speak. Yes, yes, Lord. Are you hero and obey? Say the word. I am yours. Excellent choice. I almost want to give him a bit of breathing space so I can just get this going. I need order. Word task is direct master. I am yours. But not really. Oh, he started the creep camp again. Yes, Jesus. Okay, that's not too important. I'm getting distracted. Let's concentrate on the main goal here. Raider here. That's the main goal. The hero is not even important. You, aggro. Pull creeps over here and hope to God that this works. Yeah! Okay, we got what we're after. That's the main thing. Now, wyvern, burrow, damage. Oh, that item though. <gasps> Do -do -do! Can't get it. Hmm. Pull back a little bit. No need to rush into a fight. You come back into the fight. Just got to keep them busy. Yes, Absolute choice. Are you hero and obey? That's all you gotta do. Just distract. He can get a unit or two, but that red dragon's doing a lot more damage than he's getting for those units. I don't dare go in to save that grunt, because I'm just gonna get someone else hexed and get killed. So it's not worth it. I know this. I don't know why you're aggroing, but I don't need you to do that. I need you to come over to my heroes. Because that doesn't help when you aggro. Yes, Lord. I am yours. Save a wind walk if I can. Use my There's a hit on you for free. Who be my next victim? I am yours. Right. Yes, Lord. I am yours. We are enemies. Yes, Lord. Hiding. 
That's more time that the dragon is doing damage. Excellent choice, are your enemies above? <laughs> you can't get banned for this. It's not a tournament game. He's gonna have multiple hexes. I don't like that because hexes give him a lot of control. Dragon is still going though. That's what you're gonna do. Bounce back and forth. Bounce back and forth. Don't give him nothing. Your base is getting. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing, mate. He's trying to creep it with the dragons and the burrows, but when he's got. The burrows are gonna take damage. The peons are gonna come out to repair the, the burrows. They can't keep this up. He's almost there. Oh, sneaky. <laughs> I should have paid more attention to the burrow that can easily pick off the wyvern. He's paying attention. Like, he's not necessarily easy to mess around with. And then we kill the dragon. And we get the sick, sick loot. Blade Master obviously helps you to get into position to get the item. Typically pick up the worst one first. Potion of Restoration, not too bad. Blade Master can come back into the game. Full mana for more pressure. And uh, we got it done. That's the first time I've been able to get this done and it feels so good, man. Oh, poor guy. He played quite well for his stats, although to be honest, since the patch a lot of people do. I've played people with negative stats and they're proper tryhards, so it's kind of incredible the skill level right now. That is out there, but unfortunately he was, well fortunately for me, he was a little bit easy to fall. That he did pick off a unit or two, but he could have got a lot more really. And I managed to buy as much time as possible to let the red dragon do the economy damage that he can do. Feels good, man. Feel good, man. Oh, look at that. That's what I was wondering. I was going to check the replay, but you don't necessarily need to see the re... Well, I guess you guys might be curious to see it, so I'll, let I'll show it to you anyway. But that's the main thing. is because of that red dragon causing that economy damage. We've both got one gold mine, but I've got 1,500 more gold, which is a big deal, obviously. But I think we had a relatively similar army, so I again, I couldn't really fight him properly because he's got his burrows as defense. And he's also got a slightly strong army, and he can just pick off my wyverns. So I need to really be patient, mass up that gold, and that extra 1,500 gold is then plummeted into like two to four more wyverns to really give me the more food and then finish him off if need be. Because he was getting close to the point where he killed a dragon, the dragon's no longer a threat, and then we need to deal with the army. So that's how I think it goes. Take a quick look. I think everyone just wants to see what the dragon was up to, basically. So we'll just basically skip to that part. I did get a little bit distracted, but it is quite difficult to send a wyvern over here, attack, get the raider into position so the raider doesn't mess up, and also be fighting your opponent whilst he's trying to get an item from a rock golem with just a blade master whilst he's got, uh, you know, five grunts and two heroes. Excuses, perhaps, but truths, nonetheless. I don't get the opportunity to practice this too much, so it's nice that I got to do it live and uh, get it to work. So this is just wasting time. He's gone heavy on grunts. My upgrade is complete. He's not even that far behind on, you know, tech. He's got quite a lot of gold as well. I don't know how he's quite afforded all of this. I think it's because he gets a little bit of extra gold from the creeping as well, to bear in mind. So any creeps that he does, he's also getting gold from that. That can also help a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure I can see what it is that he's up to. Got the grunt over here just to see if he goes for like this camp or to close in on this camp. So my macro is a little off. I needed a little bit more lumber, but the idea is this one should actually build the raider because the raider's got the furthest travel. This one goes for a wyvern, then this one goes for ensnare, and then you pull both up to here. 
or hear wherever your enemy is, basically. But try to not let them see at the same time. Yeah, he's really desperate to get rid of this annoying Blade Master. He even used a speed scroll there to hope he could get into range for Hex and to do some damage. So he's only got to kill a couple of Ogres, which isn't a huge deal. But he's got himself up to level 2. I'm still level 1, but level 1 in a bit because of that Golem creep. So you can do this Golem, by the way, anywhere on this map. Alright, let's get to the Red Dragon. So... Wyvern's moving into position. As the Wyvern gets close enough to the gold mine, you then send the Raider in. Because you can also make the mistake of sending the Raider in too early, and then it just gets killed. You basically need to send the Raider in as you're aggro in this almost. But at the same time, you don't want to leave it too late, and that's where I got distracted. Thinking about that, and I let the Shadow Hunter die. He's a lot easier to get killed than the Blade Master. So it's just like, alright, let's get this going. Raider move in. Wyvern aggro. So as the Raiders enter in the base. You can see that you could probably aggro before the raider gets there, but you just definitely want the raider here. Boom. Red dragon, as long as he's ensnared over trees, he no longer follows the path back to his home. It's a bug, basically, in the game. And uh, it's a marvellous bug. It's not very easy to replicate, though. I will tell you that, because I've tried this multiple times, and this is the first time I've been successful with it. So whilst it is really, really strong, it is very, very difficult to do it. And most of the time you would just throw the game trying to do it. And the bottom left spot can't be done. You have to pull the dragon over the trees the first time, then get in a zeppelin, pull him over, and then ensnare him again, I think, over here. It's kind of a real pain. And that means you need access to a zeppelin, so the goblin laboratory needs to be cleared. This isn't cleared. So if you do get a zeppelin, it's going to get ensnared by trappers. So it becomes... You know, it's not as easy as it seems. But he's got a good wholesome army. Four grunts, one raider, one kodo, two spirit walkers. That's a, you know, that's a scary army. That's a proper army, that is. I've just got one grunt, raider, and a couple of wyvern. They won't do fantastic versus that. Assault is beginning. We can take a look at the resources. 163 for me. 44 out of 43. So he's already lost the burrow, and he can't really spend that gold now. <laughs> He's trying to distract the dragon. This is why he comes in, because he's going to lose the peon farm as well. So he has to make a move on the dragon at the same time. The dragon gets distracted. We'll pull back to this position after a short while of getting a couple of cheeky hits in. Not doing too much damage to Okoto. Oh, he's actually switched to the burrow, because the burrow took the aggro. Or provoked the dragon. So that's buying him some time. So he's still getting gold from here, but he doesn't need the gold so much at this point. He needs to concentrate on killing the dragon, so he needs to put peons to the burrows quicker. But the dragon has splash damage. So if you are sitting here repairing your burrow, you can also suffer from splash damage, as you can see. <laughs> That's how big the splash damage is. The peon even gets killed from that. So just always trying to get cheeky jabs. Preferably... That's where I didn't pay attention to the actual burrow. I should have just killed that on the way in. I got focused on the spirit walker. So he's almost got this guy down, but the Blade Master should just come in and hopefully get the item, because he'd have to try to get in position. Blade Master can just cheese his way into a really good spot. And there you go. GG. Red Dragon surprise. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I've been basically trying to perfect this, because I know how to do this, and I've done it in the past, but I was just trying to think of the quickest way I can get that dragon out, essentially to be as effective as possible and basically pull it by the time day hits although I was a bit slow because I got distracted and I should have just pulled out let him creep this I was too busy trying to be greedy to try to get this whilst doing the pull as well that's part of the blade master mentality is you want to try to creep jack that item but sometimes it's just not just worth it just concentrate on getting the main goal accomplished and GG GG thank you very much have a good one Hey Witty here, thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to my channel for Warcraft free content every day. Just click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified of the latest Warcraft free news. You can check out even more at wittywarcraft.com to stay in the loop, there's blogs, topics on interacting with me and others at my Twitch, forums and more. Don't forget to follow me at WittyWarcraft on Twitter to get all the latest. 
and come watch me live almost every day at twitch.tv slash witty. If you'd like to go that extra mile and support this channel and everything I do, then you are welcome to join me and become a Patreon at patreon.com slash witty warcraft. Thank you so much and take care. Bye bye.